the silent prince written by manoj das narrated by samir ranjan das a king and his queen prayed to the gods for years before they were blessed with a charming son but as he grew up he caused his parents great anguish not that he proved mischievous or dull he was gentle and his conduct showed that he was wise and intelligent but he never spoke this did not mean that he was dumb when alone he would be heard by his nurse or servants muttering to himself or humming neither the king nor the queen however ever heard him speak the king did not believe that the prince could speak or had spoken at any time if only someone could make my son utter a few words even once the king would wishfully say every now and then i shall heap upon him wealth honor whatever he desires scholars and pundits try to provoke the prince into arguments dancers and musicians perform their arts before him hoping to get a word of praise from him wizards chanted their abracadabra physicians gave him medicines but all they got from the prince was a smile sometimes sweet sometimes sad the king and the queen had been unhappy when they had no son they were no less unhappy now it was a hot summer noon the prince sat under a tree in the garden behind the palace his eyes closed as if in meditation one of his bodyguards waited upon him suddenly a bird alighted on a nearby tree and began creeping with full vigor the bodyguard was annoyed in order to stop the bird from disturbing the prince's meditation he hurled a stone at it hit by the stone the bird fell down and gave out a painful shriek the prince opened his eyes and saw the injured bird he rushed forward took it in his arms and fondled it murmuring sweet little thing why did you chatter and invite this blow the prince had spoken shouted the bodyguard in great excitement as he ran into the palace the king and the queen woke up from their midday siesta and were amazed to hear what the bodyguard had to say where is the prince asked the king in the garden my lord talking to a bird replied the bodyguard the king and the queen and so many others made a bee line to the garden by the time they reached there the bird had recovered from its shock because of the prince's loving touch and had flown away the prince sat alone as silent as ever did you speak my boy won't you talk to me just once asked the king lovingly but the prince showed no sign of obliging the king death to the liar the king burst out in a flare of temper pointing his finger at the bodyguard the poor servant broke into a whimper and pleaded for his life but the king would not yield the executioner took hold of the man o noble prince would you not speak even for once to prove that i had not uttered a lie won't you save me from death cried the bodyguard rolling on the ground before the prince the prince looked at the man with deep compassion poor fellow why did you chatter and throw yourself into this predicament he asked that was the first time the king and the queen heard the prince speak and great was their joy 
the bodyguard was not only set free but also amply rewarded. But that was also the last time they heard the prince speak. For he left the palace soon thereafter, taking to the life of an ascetic.